Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There. So okay. this is the Firefox OS. Yes. It, this is the new feature that like we are launching. It's called a dynamic app search. You can actually find application that you don't you don't know about it. So we can have se several categories. For example, social. You click on social, you get all the social applications that exist on the marketplace, on the web. Actually, you can search for anything on the marketplace, any keyword. For example, Toyota here. You will say, show me all Toyota-related applications on the marketplace. I can get information about Toyota, official application, eBay selling Toyota cars, actually auto high, uh, you can hire cars, buy cars, use cars, and there is a lot of application actually on there. So what is the main purpose of the Firefox OS? What is it for? Firefox OS is going to replace the feature, feature phones on the emerging markets with low, end, low to medium the power device. Actually, this device is a single core uh, processor with 600 megahertz, 256 megabytes of RAM. And, and as you can see, it runs pretty smoothly all the user interface so, for a very tr trim it down device. So we are trimming down the specs to make it cheaper to build. So it will be cheaper for the people to access this new phone on those major markets. So uh, are we talking $50 phone? <laughs> $50 phone? No, not, not, not that cheap. 35 Maybe a quick, bit higher. Like 80 maybe? Uh, I don't know the actual price, but it should be really cheaper. Because the final idea on this is to get all the people who have feature phones to replace it with cheap but fully powered smartphones. For example, we are also in, uh, deploying bill, carrier billing system, so actually people who doesn't have a credit card can just use their existing relationship with the carrier just to, be, to buy applications, use their balance on their phone, they can just pay the, on the phone, there's a demo show you, they just can open the marketplace, set up the carrier billing system, they will find an application they want to use, enter a security pin to, uh, to not allow unwanted purchases. So you deploy the pin, buy the application, and that's it. It's, you install it on the, your device, and you get a fully working application on it. Actually, this device, as it may look, it's pretty powerful. Let me show you a game, for example. This is a game. It's all made in HTML5 and JavaScript. So let's start here, start the game. So it's a very simple game, but look how smoothly it is. So can it support Android games? Uh, Android games are mostly made on HTML5, but it can be ported into Firefox OS because there are 8 million web developers out there. That is far more than actually iOS and Android developers together. So any web developer can create a web app for Firefox OS. That is a big market out there waiting for we to be incorporated in. So what is showing, what is going on over here at the booth? Okay, here's our main booth. You can see the huge Firefox. Your, our new brand slogan is, blaze your own path. So here is our desk chair, tell the people. Greeting us. And here we have the demo booth. We are here we are demoing Firefox OS, Firefox Marketplace for developers, so developers can get more information about the marketplace. And Firefox for Android 2. And here oh excuse me. You're talking about Firefox for Android. Firefox for Android is around here. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Here is Firefox for Android. Firefox for Android and WebRTC, that is a very new technology that will allow a video chat conference over, web, over different browsers, even in different systems. It's a standard we are working on to allow VoIP conversation over the internet. So it's a new feature we are working together. Um, well, it's here really busy at the moment, yeah. <laughs> but this is all we are showing out here. So how long did it take? Uh, who's, who made this OS? Who's working on this? Mozilla, Mozilla is developing the software, and CTE is, uh, is the creating the phones. We are also working with Alcatel. They are uh, around 18. Alcatel and 18 what? 
18 more OEM manufacturers and carriers are interested already on this. We had confirmed this on the press release yesterday, where all the CEOs together with our CEO Gary Kovacs came together. So this is the Mozilla Firefox OS. It's a really smooth phone, actually. You can get all the features. Okay. So. Uh, is it impossible to do the same on Android, or is it possible to run Android apps on this OS, so that's not going to be possible? No, Android apps won't actually work. You have to grab the HTML5 code from the Android part and incorporate it into Firefox OS, because HTML5 is just a, a web page. So if you can just make a responsive design web page, and you can use it in Firefox OS. You, can, you only need to add a little quite a few lines of code and make it into the Firefox OS marketplace. It's really easy, actually. All right. Uh, is it possible to use this on uh, more expensive phones as well, more expensive hardware, or is we it are, just for entry level? We are starting on entry level phones. May, maybe in the future, with a more polished version and more hardware possibilities, we can start to launch high-end phones with Firefox OS. Does it use the GPU hardware acceleration and all that? We are working on it uh, at this moment. It? Yes, and we have planned uh, features like WebGL to develop games on Firefox OS, more complex games, not just 2D games, but 3D games. How about uh, tablets? Tablets? Mm. Firefox tablets? Maybe. Not announced. Maybe. Firefox laptops? Mm. Nah, not sure. Not yet. Not right. yet. But uh, this whole ARM part, uh, ARM technology is optimized for uh, single core. You didn't announce exactly which CPU, no? Uh, Snapdragon. Snapdragon. Single core, 600 megahertz. All right. 